So mid one already making his way back to back up to the top lane. Taiga is gonna get the info that hey, Ursa's walking top. I wonder if they're gonna switch back on Liquid now. It looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, musical lanes. Oh yeah, OG, they're looking to put some fuel in the tank and they're gonna start off by moving on to the Timbersaw though. Quake for get jumped by Topson instead. Switching the targets up, so they try to jump on the Visage, but the OD's come into this, but immediately walks in towards that Torn. And Quake was the one who's gonna go down, but it looks like Saxa will be traded for it. And mickey has got another one inside the Banishment Field here. And now it's gonna be Topson who immediately goes for the TP Whale to a drop by Mickey. He's Ooh. not gonna survive. Topson will fall. But, I mean, Liquid bring down literally every single hero in the game to get this kill. Absolutely, yeah. There's uh, a lot of potential for Saxon to have an absolutely smashing game, uh, as he has already, to be fair. And more TPs coming up to the top lane. Liquid want to make some action happen onto this Ursa. There's no teammates nearby to help out this Ursa. He's just going to get run down by the side of Team Liquid. No saving him here, unfortunately. Yes, it will fall. OG coming in, though. <laughs> for a bit of a response here, is a man. Not the arrow onto Koi, though. He gets destroyed. Now comes out the tool, the ultimate, the duel. Locking down Foxy. It's going to be another kill. Go the way of OG. They respond harshly. And they bring down two heroes in response to the Zax are even looking for more. They're instead looking across. They've got the duel. They've got the damage. They're going to be able to bring down the Ursa. And instead, no tail. Duking them really hard here. In comes the Moonlight Shadow. Do they have the detection? They've got the damage regardless. But a neutral kick gets him. He gets a deny. What value <laughs> coming out from No Tail here. Playing the happy feed. Now Dotson comes in on the cover of the Moonlight Shadow. They're going to be able to blow up the Timber Huge. Tool. Fantastic from OG. And they get a kill in the mid lane whilst all this was going on as well. That was a solo kill made happen by Topson onto the OD in the middle lane. So, I mean, this series of events has just put a huge spanner in the works to the side of Team Liquid. That was so huge. Uh, this Timber is just level 6 right now, oh, and it's oh, going to keep dying. Yeah. He should be okay. Uh, Ios relocating in. No. He's good. Okay, okay, okay. He's not an kill easy again. kill at all. I mean, that's two heroes without the Sables, right? Like, Massage Birds don't really count, so... Mid one. Their best. Oh, Tiger Fools. Topson, he is just murdering anybody that turns up to his lane right now. <laughs> his Void Spirit is smashing. Guess Very interesting game here. As Topson, is, please tell me he's not fighting another kill here. It's saying he is on the run. Tiger's going to come through as well. They've got him silenced up, so he can't keep on he's casting bite. spells, but his cooldowns are about to come. You know he's looking at him, trying to run away. And uh, you know what, Topson, he's going to do what's best for him and try and get himself out of this occasion. Before she has a lot of heroes chasing him down, they'll be able to get in with the Aspen imprisonment. They've got Tiger ready with a couple more rocks. The science will connect. Arrow's going to come through as well. Not really doing much. And they're just going to. Oh, no, no, Mighty dodges out the ultimate. He's alive. <laughs> Topson gets out. How? Oh. How is he doing it? This is a mess game from him. Oh, Saxa came in clutch with that arrow that landed on the Earth Spirit too. So that really helped a lot. Allowed him to have enough time to get that Astro step off. Ball down up. To the bottom gear lane. They've got the duel coming out. It'll be another win for Sir, but unfortunately, a lot of damage now coming down on him. No tail. Gonna connect up. Try and heal him and get him out. Needs to last five seconds. Not gonna do so. Set's gonna die. Meanwhile, mid one needs to leave. He doesn't have an ultimate anymore. He's got another shock in two seconds. Tiger, Boxy, Koi, and Insane. You're all giving chase, but with a Moonlight Shadow. I don't think they have the detection to keep on chasing. Well, they do, but they don't have mana as a problem. Only 90 left on Tiger. So they will have to give up this chase once more. Exactly. What's happening in this match? And why is it that? Because okay. of all the space. Ooh. Odie's being jumped here. Tiger's gonna dive into his rescue, get the science lock. Is it gonna be enough though? I don't think it is. Mickey's gonna get dropped by the dissimilate from Topson, and Topson's looking for more. As insane is gonna be in the next target. He gets cut down by the double damage. Meanwhile, Seb trying to look for a target. Wants to try and find the jewel. As Io's even gonna relocate himself out. Gets Topson out of there. He was on the magnetize, but he keeps him alive. Though well, unfortunately, mid one might not be so lucky with the magnetize. Actually, but he's fine. He's absolutely peachy. No G just continue, they defend the area where the IO is coming up, not willing to give any kills the way of Team Liquid. And that's going to mean a middle tower likely going the way of OG here. The aggression, the presence on the map is just really, really hard for them. And then they go with them on Moonlight Shadow, they don't have detection here. Boxy's just going to get dueled up, and comes the Blade Mail, and comes the Dual Arrow to follow up as well. But there is a swift response from Team Liquid. He's not going to go down inside the duel, maybe he'll go down afterwards. Though Boxy getting a decent amount of damage off in the process, but still will fall. But Top One's going to die in response. A pretty good trade, all things considered, to the side of Team Liquid as they get the return kill onto the Void Spirit. Indeed. OG just gonna wait till Liquid show up after the smoke and then they're gonna start hunting once again. Seb is going in, he's got Blink, Blink, Blink. 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 They get on top of Koik for so damn quickly. That Blink Dagger comes in, they will bring down the Visage. See you later, buddy. No more flying Ooh. today. Seb soon level 12 as well. He's gonna be a humongous core in this game. And on uh, 
Astral Grand. Imprisonment if you're silenced. Once more, they're jumping in. They're trying to make the play onto Saxa here. They need to bring him down real damn quick because there's a response coming in quickly from the side of OG. In fact, they're going to go straight into the back lines. A double banishment coming out from the OD to try and keep Insane alive. Insane, in fact, going to go for the freezing field. It's pretty damn nice. It's doing a decent amount of work. Void Spirit's going to lose his life because of this. Quaker falls at the same time. Meanwhile, Legion Commander, she's getting jumped on by Boxy. Ross going to cut it. Oh, it's not. She's gone. See you later, Legion. She gets TP'd out by No Tail. What an amazing save from the IO. And it looks like they're only going to lose maybe mid one as well. Let's see. They're still playing around with this. But Sen's actually TP'd across to the middle tower to help out the Ursa. In comes No Tail flying on from the side. And all of a sudden, they're able to turn it. Boxy needs to leave. Another duel coming down. They get the big one. But the kick away from the Tiger from keeps him safe. And now Boxy rips through the fight. Springs down step instead. Nikkei is actually the one who wins the duel. And now they look to take revenge. They get on top of this Marana. Marana gets caught down mid one with a BKB. Will be able to finish off in Sadia. But now he's in some trouble. He's just going to have to TP himself away. Should complete that one. But no tail he is going to try and get a tether across the range creep but perfectly predicted by tiger and now he gets on top and kicking into the clutches of boxy and that is going to be a big big fight for the side of team liquid as they bring down four there as they killed off toxin earlier and he just comes wandering into the middle lane he's pretty he's pretty uh pretty nonchalant oh no toxin oh wow he's gonna oh, get himself wow. a kill from this toxin what was that <laughs> I mean, he made the trade. I'm not sure if that trade was worth it. I think Liquid are going to be happy with it. But then again, like, Liquid thought he was just going to die. Like, there was no way that they were going to kill Mickey. So, I guess in that sense, like, he messed up first, but then he still managed to get a kill in the end. It's okay. So, he can be here whenever he wants. Tiger with the smoke pop. They don't know where he's here. They don't know he's here at all. He's in a perfect position to completely unravel OG's plan. As uh, Thompson does get on top of this OD, gets him caught up inside that taunt, but his team is not coming in to help him out. Now, Mick one and No-Tail gonna get on top here as they will relocate themselves forward, try to cut somebody off. That didn't really work though. And now it gets a little bit awkward. They're trying to try and move across towards Tiger. Tiger will fall, but gets off a big magnetizing the process. He's actually gonna buy back into this one and try and take this fight. Liquid, they're here to stay. Meanwhile, Tiger comes back from the dead, trying to play around with mid one. Could be in some trouble straight off the bat though. Five Fury Stripes already on him. He needs to stay away. Then when the BKB looking for some targets here, looking to do a bit of disruption. They'll get on top of the OD. That's a big target. He is dead to 50. Mid one moving across. Look at the boxes. He takes down Seb, but Boxy in some trouble as well moving across the creek wave he's got himself the timber chain available in just one second goes back in blows up mid one he turns it around he's going to lose his whole life here to thompson and saxa but they might be able to turn around and check the kill into the void spirit he does get out that taunt onto tiger stopping the lockdown from coming through onto him can he finish the job he's not going to be even be able to bring down tiger he will get him with the urn but dying for that is nowhere near worth it og once again end up narrowly losing the fight but these fights are so damn close it's all about this Roshan, actually, as uh, uh, mid one's already taken it, in fact, so... <laughs> yeah. Mid one is really big now. He's got that basher as well. Immediately going in with a duel in the mid lane onto Boxy, but Liquid are looking to respond to this one. They want to see if they can bring down Seb in the time it takes for the team to get over, but Seb gets off the BKB, gets the big heals from No Tail, and he's going to be absolutely fine. Meanwhile, they'll look across, they'll finish the job onto Tiger as the Earth Spirit's going to be the first one to fall. Thompson, though, dies the big ultimate from Mickey and Insania. They get the response, and they're actually the ones who hold the ground here and force back OG. They're just going to throw in a couple of spells, but no big commitment from him as he now chases forwards. Arrow's going to whiff, doesn't quite land onto anybody. Liquid, they are not just really like backing away too easily at the moment i don't think liquid is going to make any place themselves they don't actually have enough disables to be able to do it walking up the high ground saying hello to boxy but immediately gonna get frostbitten up by insania but he's got that abyssal blade he's gonna throw it down onto the timbersaw tiger's gonna come across try and help him out but he also comes down onto the timbersaw but it's not gonna be enough to save tiger at the very least and now they just instantly kill off insania nice salty he tried for it and now the duel comes down onto boxy he will fall as well mickey's gonna delay the inevitable with the astral but i don't think there's anything they can do as boxy comes back to life nice to chain down to low ground top actually looking across to the od he gets out the taunt he's in some trouble and he is gonna fall meanwhile boxy jumping across Thompson's on his tail though getting on top him to simulate across as in comes the Ursa. He is disarmed, so no bash is for you, but just trying to stay on top of this Timbersaur. As Timbersaur trying to limp back to his fountain, so instead, a look towards Coit for Coit for is going to be able to drop here as the Abyssal Blade comes through again. OG find another four heroes dead on the side of Liquid, and now they look to take this all the court in tier three tower. Just a little bit too hot for Liquid to handle currently. One more fight in them for the side ground, I believe. It's, oh no, Insania just getting jumped immediately. Arrow's going to connect as well. Bye. 50 seconds in the grave for Insania. Oh no, Liquid. They couldn't afford to lose a hero there. This means this, this lane of barracks is most certainly going to go the way of OG. They can't take bottom. There is a tier two. 
And Liquid do have a chance to take one more engagement. All the mobs come through. Oxy actually finding Seth here. Seth has a BKB though. He's got to go for the duel. He goes for the duel of the Tiger, the Madman. This might actually pay off. Tipton's got to come through as well, but in comes that all important Astral from the OD, keeping him safe a little bit longer. But Tiger will fall regardless, but he's got to buy back into this one. Meanwhile, they want an hotel, just trying to get themselves away. The Magnetize is on top of them, but Boxy is chasing. He's got the Yules available just about now. Is he going to throw it down? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't want to throw it down onto Tuggy. Knows they can't kill and lead themselves into another bad okay. fight. So oh, they... there's an arrow. Not going to continue on with this, though. Moving right. on to Insania up in the top lane, and Topson's just going to slice him up good and proper. Poor Insania gets his eggs white whisked by Topson up here in the top lane. No mercy. Sports. Yep. OGR just. This is time. This is the victory lap right here for them. They're just gonna go bottom, take the tower, get Liquid out of the base, maybe. They don't have an Aegis anymore, though, on OG, so they might play a little bit more cautious until the Roshan spawns. Or if they get a kill top. Okay, no cautious. Well, they at just all. go onto the high ground and put the BKB on. Okay, it's under the tier 4. That doesn't look cautious to me. They could take down Mike. <laughs> Mike buying back immediately. Tiger, though, he doesn't have buyback if he dies to mid one, which he certainly will. The tower's doing a decent amount of work, though, and that's at least going to force back the Ursa for now, but I don't think they're staying out of this base for very long. First, with the, the only difference, though, now is that Thompson has a BKB. A 10 second BKB. <laughs> he does. So, this Frostbite, not a problem. The silence from Earth Spirit, not a problem for him anymore. Is going to connect on to Xenia, but Mickey is there with the save with the Astral. Going to use one on to uh, Topson as well, but the duel's going to come down onto Boxy as all of a sudden OG just appear on top of their faces. Boxy is gone 53 seconds, and that is not buyback available time for this uh, Timber as they find Insania in the trees as well. You cannot run, you cannot hide. OG will find you. They bring it down the Crystal Maiden. But yeah, they're just going to go for the tier 3 bottom. It's easier to take. Team fights around here as well for OG. This is Liquid's last hurrah. They're gonna go for Final it. Final stand starts here, folks. Will Liquid be able to do it against all odds? It seems unlikely, but uh, this team's capable of magic. Let's see. Mid one just back away at that tower now, looking over towards the Timbersaw. Timbersaw losing his life very quickly. There needs to be some sort of save. Quick, we're gonna pop BKB and try and help them out here. They are keeping them alive for a little bit, but now the Invisible Bay comes onto the real target, and Mickey is just gonna die. No chance of responding, no chance of doing anything. Insania will go out with a bang, but they will go out. And game number two will belong to OG. And that was convincing. 39k gold advantage. They had their ideas on how these lanes were gonna go, but uh, that is now being completely thrown to the wall. Yeah, Luna and Io now rat running all the way across, trying to get the rune. They just shove the lane into the tower, then they go straight into the Ancients, farm that up, go back bottom, shove the lane once again, and OG are pretty much farming on three lanes, very happily. Glorious. And no tail finds a shovel. This little ball of light's gonna dig like his life depends on it. Meanwhile, Topson in the middle lane being jumped right now. Horn's gonna come through as well. They really want to try and bring down the bench. He's gonna go for the two meter swap. Is it gonna be up to save her? It doesn't look like it, although saying that they will finally get the drum. Meanwhile, the ultimate comes down from mid one as he comes into this area and gets himself a kill onto Boxy straight off the bat. Snowball forwards into Insania. He's making out the high ground. Gonna be able to now turn around and dish out a bit of damage as Saxa instead will fall, but mid one does actually find the Lucent Beam. And now no tail getting very low, still wants to keep the tether onto mid one has to break and he's gonna get run down jumps across it's not enough but kind of break i don't know meanwhile mid one under the tier one tower trying to fight up for all he's worth but he is gonna fall by the looks of it but topson gets a return kill with his little illusion and that is gonna put an end to things here in the middle lane meanwhile seb he's just chilling out at top you know didn't have the black hole didn't really feel the need to get involved just farming just get himself some gold yep. and it's still and back and to back top, to they top. Go. <laughs> Take the tower. Jesus, this is efficient. However, they are rolling in onto Saxa down in the bottom lane. He's pinging himself out saying, guys, you know, I can probably bait them out a little bit here if you guys want to join in this party. And they most certainly do. They've got their party hats on and they're coming onto Insania here. Oh no, he is not surviving this one at all. Too much damage from the side of OG. So they try to make the play on the side of Liquid, but the moment that roll misses, things start to go very pear-shaped for them. And Roshan, yes. only oh, at half HP, fun. this would be so good. If they can actually win a fight here and take this Aegis away, they this need to get exactly in here so quickly, though. 
Roshan is getting low. Tiger's got to roll in. Sees Roshan's HP and they immediately gets bashed up by him. Thanks, Rosh. Who's tier do you want anyway? Is uh, No Tail going to slide across to join in mid one? Boxy just trying to disrupt things. In comes a Horde. They're trying to find themselves a target. It's No Tail is going to get blown up immediately. Now they're jumping across. Looking onto the front lines. Toxin. It's going to be the new target, maybe. But Tiger's gone down in the meantime. And Mickey with the blade mail trying to do the work. In comes a black hole from Seb. He's low on HP, but it doesn't really matter. They'll be able to kill off the Spectre. Quick for in some trouble as Toxin takes him down, getting pretty low himself. But the Snowball's going to save him up to the high ground. They go looking for Boxy. Boxy will fall. Three dead to the side of Liquid. Two on the side of OG, but it might have just been enough. And Sena going for the TP away. Just about makes it in time. And that will finally put an end to things in this little engagement. And it seems like OG are looking very happy about that one. I got you buying yeah. back here. Mm -hmm. um, okay. He thought maybe he can get back into the fight and try to help his team out. But they're just gonna get Roshan on OG. This is so good. And to look at Thompson. Look at his item build. Yasha into Glimmer Cape. Like this, this is such a strong Venge. Has 50, 57 percent magic resistance. Insane amount of damage, especially with the Luna. Right. Everybody just trilates his Viper offing and destroys his early game. You can see what's happening right now because of it. Oh, Venge's getting caught out a little bit here, though. They've got the vision down. Boxy gonna be able to chain lock him in these little cliffs, just controlling him up. But the snowball from the high ground keeps him alive, moving him across. Boxy still managing to get on top of them, though. Can they finally get through Topson? Yes, they can. Sax are in some trouble as well, regretting his decision to come in and save his captain, as they will be able to drop both Topson and Saxer. Like, any carry that's a free game like this is pretty much gonna dominate, right? Yeah, so... Mid one just taking full advantage of that, and... Having this hero who can also farm extremely quickly. Liquid looking to make something happen here. They've got the black hole in nine seconds on the side of OG. As meanwhile, Tigers is going to get completely obliterated. These rolls into the fight and gets killed up very quickly. Liquid realizing their opportunity to go is long past. Now they just need to survive. Boxy hiding in the tree lines, quaking as the swap comes out from Topson, bringing Insania into a whole world of hurt. A swap, another swap from Topson. This is getting itself further into the base. The black hole comes down, just catching out Koik for set, lands it on the edge. Boxy's going to come through the snowball to stop them getting bashed up. No tail's going to come and try and keep Topson alive. No one just dying on the side of OG. Wow. They're keeping everybody alive, and now Boxy could be in some trouble. They've got the shots, they've got the damage, they'll bring down another hero, four dead on the side of Liquid. That was a buttery perfect Dota from the side of OG, not letting a single hero die. Game. Wow. With six, like, it's crazy. Insane. So, so difficult to play into. So, so difficult from Liquid in this position to actually come back into this one. But they're going to try and make the play happen here as they drop the horns immediately, just trying to catch him out by force. Who will they jump? Topson's going to be the answer. Can they bring him down? I think they can. It doesn't look like they're actually interested in saving him. Meanwhile, Tiger's trying to set up for T Seb here as well. Meanwhile, the rest of the team, they've got to deal with the Illusion as well. The Illusion's actually doing a decent amount of work to bring Koikva pretty low. No Tail going to TP back in, though. He's going for the TP away. They need to finish him off here, and uh, yeah, they will be able to do so. Mickey gets on top. Meanwhile, Seb, he's also in some trouble. The roll across from Tiger. He's been on them this whole damn time like a rash. They're going to be able to get him. And now Saxa. It's just one after the other. Saxa can't get himself away. Finally, the chain will break. OG will lose four. Liquid are not wasting the opportunity. They know that no, their only not. chance to come back into the game is to like make the decisive call. It was fantastic. There was no hesitation exactly. at all. Like the moment it happens, it's just like boom, boom, boom. Every spell in the world thrown in their faces is uh, yeah. Mikke is getting caught out there, reflecting a lot of damage. Almost brings down Saxa in the process. Wow. Won't do so, and that's just going to be a dead spectre, which is not really what you want to be hearing if you're a Liquid fan. Bottom, Seb well, outnumbered here. Seb has dropped. Uh, Boxy could be actually saved the very last second by Insania. Can he get himself out? Going for the TP back to base, and that should keep him alive. Insania trying to copy his success, but unfortunately, we'll just get killed off by mid one. Doesn't even bother cancelling the TP. Just lets him, leaves him with the promise, leaves him with the hope. They're probably strong enough, right? They just bring Liquid there, then they get the big black hole plays. Uh, ben just quite strong too at the moment. Um, but right now, like OG, they're just timing this rape here with the rush they want to make sure it's just close enough then once they take the Russian and then they pick up the uh, right Tiger here. with the roll in, the toss back onto the task, but unfortunately they were waiting inside the pit for him and they bring him down and look at Boxy, he's rolling through. He thought wow. he was a mortal, but he gets completely shredded. We're going to look across towards Koikva as well, onto the high ground. We shall go rolling on in onto this fight for the punch up into the air as mid one set. No tell us around him and they'll be able to kill off yet another. Liquid in a flash, lose three heroes. They thought they were getting the catch out there. They thought they were going to be able to just bring down that Tusk nice and easily, but that is not the case. Oh gee, they don't even care about Roshan. That's a free they're going for the yeah. barracks and with these uh, 
pesky, pesky glaives. Glaives. They're gonna be able to get them easily. Tiger rolling in. Pawn gonna fall off as well. They're looking for no tail in the back as Mickey tries to single it out. But meanwhile, on the front, well, they're looking for a target. Boxy gonna jump through. Huge shield crash onto everybody as mid one pops a BKB, pops the eclipse, try to turn it around. Big black hole coming down as well. Locking down the Spectre, locking down the Panga. They are both dead and out of the equation. Tiger's gonna be next on the list. They are getting low on Luna. Is it gonna matter though? It is not. They take down Koikfer. They take down Insania. Everybody dead on the side of Liquid. The tier fours are being attacked. That is gonna be it for Team yeah. Liquid. The double Jeezer drops and they are gone. They are out. OG will take the victory 2-1 over Team Liquid. Didn't even need the rapier in the end.